Good morning, everybody. Are you ready to do God Loves Me? God loves me from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from my ear lobes to the end of my nose. God loves my back and my front and my wiggly fingers. God loves me. Shall we do it again? God loves me from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from my ear lobes to the end of my nose. God loves my back and my front and my wiggly fingers. God loves me. Jesus and his followers went to Capernaum. When the Sabbath came, Jesus went straight to the synagogue and started teaching. People were astonished by the way he spoke. Unlike the scribes, he taught them with authority. They listened carefully and wanted to hear more. Suddenly, a man in the synagogue, filled with an unclean spirit, shouted out angrily, What do you want of us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. The crowd was shocked, but Jesus didn't hesitate. Straight away he turned to the man. Be quiet and get out of him, he commanded. The man fell to the floor, shaking and sobbing. Then a huge cry came out of him and the unclean spirit was gone. Everyone was amazed. They turned to each other excitedly and said, What is this? He teaches us in a new way with authority. He even has power over unclean spirits. And from that moment on, Jesus' fame spread across Galilee. Now we've got a code to break. So we're going to have a saying from our Bible reading. But we've got to work out what it is. So our first letter is those these so where is it in in our code can you see it there it's a w and then we've got to find the percent sign can you find it there it is so it's a h huh. Then a triangle upside down. Ah. And then that's a very funny sign, isn't it? Can you see it anywhere? Have you spotted it? Yes. It's a T. What? Now we've got the at sign, we all know that, don't we? Can you find the letter that matches it? I. And the hashtag just below. So, what is... Now we've had that one before, haven't we? And this one, and it was a... Huh. We've had the percent sign as well. It's a huh. And we've had the at sign. I. And the hashtag. So. But we've not had that one before. Can you spot it? What is this? What is this? It's a question, isn't it? So we need the question mark. Now we've got the percent again. What was that? Can you remember? That's right. A uh huh. Now, we've not had the plus sign before. Can we spot it? It's an A. Uh. Now we've had that one before, can you remember? It's the T. And we've just had that. It's an A. Uh. 
Can you remember what the upside down triangle was? Ah. Now we've not had the square. Can you spot the square in our grid? It's a curly curve. And we've had the percent sign, haven't we? It's a huh. Now we've had the plus in this one already. It's another eh. Can you remember what the hashtag was? A sir. So what is this? He teaches now. We've not had that sign before. Can you spot it? Have a good look. It's an O. Oh. And the hashtag? Another sir. So. What is this? He teaches us. Do you remember what that at sign was? An I. Now we've not had this one before. This is a the going in the wrong way. Can you find it? It's a N. He teaches us in. Can you remember this one? Right at the beginning, we used it in the first word, didn't we? It's an A. Ah. He teaches us in a... Got it here. It's a N. Remember what the plus was? This letter we had right at the start. Can you remember? It's a word. So remember, we've just had that letter, haven't we? So it's another word. And that one, can you remember? It's the first letter. Now, here's one we've not had before. Looks like a, 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 an almost like a N. Can you see? Look through our code. Can you spot it? Have you got it? It's in the last line. It's a Y. What is this? He teaches us in a new way. We've had lots of these, haven't we? Can you remember what the at one is? I. Now we've not had many of these, but it's just there, isn't it? T. Can you remember what the percent sign is? So what's the first letter? It's an A again. Can you remember what this one is? That's right. It's an O. And this one? There's lots of the percent ones. Huh. This is a very long word, isn't it? Now, have we had the pound sign before? No. So, have a good look at our grid. Can you spot it?
written off. Now, this is another one we've not had. Look at our grid again. Can you find the plus and the minus sign? Well done. It's an R. R. Can you remember what the at sign is? It's an I. And this just below it, it's another T. You've had this one before, can you remember? There it is. It's another Y. So they said, what is this? He teaches us in a new way with authority. When Jesus was born, Joseph and Mary took him to the temple in Jerusalem, as was the custom, and they offered him to God, as the scriptures said they should do. In the temple, they met an old man called Simeon. Very tenderly, he took Jesus in his arms and said, Now, Father, your servant can go in peace. I have seen your salvation, the light of the world. He blessed Mary and Joseph, and when he gave the baby back to Mary, he said, This child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel. He'll be a sign. Mary and Joseph did not really understand what he meant, but they treasured his words and remembered his love. There was an old woman in the temple too. Her name was Anna, and she too came to see the baby. Then she praised God. This, she said, is the child we were waiting for. Now we've got a head with two faces and we're going to decorate it with different coloured pieces of tissue paper. The looking back, it, we're doing in reds and purples because we're looking back towards Christmas when Jesus was born, laid in the manger and was with Mary, his mother and J Joseph. And then on the looking forward side, we're decorating it with yellow and peaches, the new life, because we're looking forwards to when Jesus gave up his life for us on Good Friday, but then on Easter Day, he rose again from the dead. So we have seen his salvation. It's time for our prayers. Get somebody to switch your candle on. Jesus and his followers went to Capernaum. When the Sabbath came, Jesus went straight to the synagogue and started teaching. People were astonished by the way he spoke. Unlike the scribes, he taught them with authority. They listened carefully and wanted to hear more. Loving God, we gather in the name of Jesus to learn how to follow more closely in his footsteps and to give authority to our words by backing them with truthful actions. Amen. When Jesus spoke, people knew everything he said was true. They were amazed and all said, wow! This is different teaching now, so thank you, God, for Jesus' deeds that give us hope and meet our needs. Amen. God of truth, we pray for those who misuse their authority and hurt others. We pray for those entrusted with your authority in our churches. We pray for one another that we would be people of integrity who others can trust. Amen. Now, special one. Jump up and down because Jesus is special. Lift up your hands because Jesus is Lord. And go in his name and live as his friends. Be kind in your deeds and true to your word. Amen. And we're going to say thank you God for you and thank you God for me. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. See you next week.